Hey, more stuff. Uh, this is Glitch Space from Space Budgie, which hit early access on Steam on Tuesday. I picked up a copy of it for dirt cheap uh, about a couple of months ago, six weeks ago, a month ago, um, from the website. <clears throat> it's a first person platformer with visual programming elements that you proceed. Um, but to explain, the best bet is to show you. It's done in Unity. It's got a really nice, quite a nice visual style. So I've got my gun, <coughs> which isn't actually a gun. And I've got like, a little shadow dude. And it's quite a nice sort of world thing. And I've got uh, my instructions. It's got these little portals. So I jump. It's all very calming and nice. And you can edit these red, these red blocks by right clicking them, as it says up there. If I right click it, it pops up this visual scripting box. Um, the object that's set to true so if I click that I can then drag a box scales the cube and away I go so I can walk through that it's like that the instruction screen and hangs around in space so you can do a bunch of things this is level one so any of these red blocks, uh, well this is, this is the hub section, so there's level 1, level 2, level 3 over there somewhere. Um, so this is just where you walk through to start the level. So I've got my red box. Um, currently has a collision set on it though. So I click logic, and I want true. And then I drag that to there, and it enables collisions, so the box becomes solid. I move away, and I can jump on the box and keep them going. So it's sort of like a crazy. Uh, it's really loud. Settings. Uh, that's better. So it's sort of a a, a bit of. Um, so I want to disable the collisions on this one, and then just keep on going. So I walk through it. And do the same thing on this one. Take me myself to the portal. So it's yes, yeah, suppose it's a bit of a cross between Mirror's Edge and that's my character. But it's like a, just a box with a head. It's on the box, a cube. Sorry. Um, so it's like, it's like Mirror's Edge sort of visual aesthetic combined with um, I suppose sort of for the the visual coding stuff you get in UDK or Unreal Engine for um, Kismet type thing. So let's uh, I want to reverse this. So it, it does require a bit of of previous logical knowledge. So by saying false not, it turns the false into true, and then I put that down here, it disables the collisions so I can walk through the box. Um, so without a better tutorial system it is actually quite hard to follow so this is completely empty at the minute so our main object and physics allow collisions uh, oops bin that and input moving so it allows collisions Let's try that. There we go. Yeah. While I'm moving, collisions are allowed. When I'm not moving, collisions aren't allowed. It's pretty cool. Uh, this one. Let's have a look. Enable collisions. Main object. True. Uh, so I've got. Collisions. Uh, input. Six. 
so I can that's all locked up So I want to disable the collisions on this, but I can't reorganize those. I'm not. <laughs> That's not right. Um, but I can't actually get to the object. Like, I don't know. This is an odd one. So I basically want to get allow collisions in into there somehow. So if moving is false, if moving is true, that becomes false, it doesn't allow collisions. Is that right? I don't even know anymore. Spin that a second. But input logic physics. I need some way of getting access to the main object. It doesn't want to let me do that. What am I missing? Or I'm missing something really obvious. Or I can tell I'm missing something really obvious. Let's just reset that. Let's take it away for a second. Hmm. 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 This should be straightforward. Let me through. Allow collisions. Input moving logic not. Ah, oh, there we go. Ha <laughs> There we go. While I'm moving, that works. So you just wouldn't let me drag a connection out, which is odd. Okay, so I'm on to level 2. So that's a bit of a glitch in that I had to drag a connection across in an odd way. There we go. So I clearly can't make this jump. If I try, it's going to fall off. And fall forever. There we go. So I right click it from here. And I've got. Um, so it's got a scale object. It's got scale. So scaling the object. Uh, along the Z, I need to give it a, a number. Um, so let's try 10. 10 is not quite long enough. 20, beautiful. So it's quite a nice little build up in terms of the complexity of the of the math required, the, the logic required, and the objects available. A bit of fear when it goes glitchy like that. So, um, yeah, this is a oh no, too many. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward piece of logic. Oops. Um, so all it's doing is scaling. Ah. So in terms of like programming and stuff, this is scaling the main object, the red cube, um, by a vector which is x, y, and z. And we're scaling the x and the y by 10. Well, no, x and the z by 10, which is giving us this enhanced size cube. If we scroll the y, as you saw it goes massive. So we'll click that to get rid of it. And we can probably get rid of the z as well. Just keep it as a straightforward platform. But yeah, so it really needs a way of explaining what each of those blocks are before you come across them. Without having some coding knowledge, I think this would be a much harder game than it probably should be. 
um, without having something in game to talk you through it. This is going to scale it. Uh, I've got numbers. Uh, let's give it a zero. That moves it out of the way. some maths in there. Okay, so I don't want zero. Let's try five. There we go, so I want it to be ten. There we go. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. There we go. So let's just scale it along the, or the X axis. So that way, into the screen. Um, so X is left and right. Think about graphs you saw in school. X is left and right. Y is generally vertical, um, and then Z is in and out of the camera. Um, Unity does things a bit differently. So odds are, all right, here we go. So if I scale on the Y, that up to there. Uh, maths. I want a negative. Ah, uh, oh, too many negatives. Let's hook that straight up to there. Ah, oh, stop clicking that one. And. Uh, number, number, numbers, twenty. Uh, hook it up to there. There we go. So yes. So yeah. Y is vertical. X is horizontal, and then Z is depth. As long as you keep that in mind, you'll be fine. Ah, haha! -ha, what? Ah. Hmm. So this. Uh, Gliding object, what's it saying? This is saying gliding object, which is the player, uh, should apply a force to the gliding object of a hundred. Um, I don't want it to be vertical, so along the so that one to there. And Alakazam, it bounces me. Whoa, there we go. So that's like a springboard. So it's a cheeky little way of doing the puzzle. So you fell through the end with the, the non-colliding block. Hit the bottom one and you apply the, the Y force and the Y to bounce you back up again. So I can play a similar thing here. I need to go over that. Um, yep. So let's have a quick look. What's the math? Multiply. Uh, ooh. Numbers. Let's go for ten. Uh, and then let's try five. Let's try. Uh, that wasn't quite enough. Thankfully, there are little checkpoints every so often, so I should bounce me back up. So I want this to be more than that. So um, numbers. Ten by ten. There we go. See. So again, this is a climbing object applying the force. I want to punt the player out of the way. So if this is X and this is Y, then across to Z. Uh, maths multiply. Oops. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Numbers 20. Ta-da! And because I was already touching it, it triggered the code straight away, it punted me across. And through to level three. So this is a bit more using the stuff I've just covered. So I need to um, do things a bit differently. What am I doing? Brain fart. Okay, so um, sorry, I just had to check some settings quickly. Um, so what we're doing is scaling this out. Uh, so yes, at the minute, oh, so it's got a wave which counts down and then back up again. So it undulates and goes like that, like a sine wave. We're gonna multiply that by five, and if we hook that into there, so we see it bouncing backwards and forwards. Pretty. Let's just check what happens. Into 
efficient because it's just going to be 0, 1, 2, so I definitely need 1, 3, 5. So that's the largest number I've got. And then some run, 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 jump. Beautiful. Uh, okay. So this translates the object. This is going to move the object. Translation is moving. Uh, this is going to, again, going to bounce it up and down. Look. So I just want to hook that uh, along the Y. And away it goes. And like a lift. But more and more, I think about it, this definitely needs some instructions. Um, so this is along the Z, so it's going to ex translate it backwards and forwards. So I need an add. And then a number. Do that first, so I can get on it. And oh, I need bigger numbers. There we go, and we're off. So these haven't got collisions at the minute, look. Um, so, objects, colliding object, physics, enable collisions. Logic, true. And they come out solid. All is good in the world. <laughs> do, do, do. So let's make our way this way. I don't know what's going on anymore. This is like the hub level, but bigger. There we go. Oh, they've all got collisions, so nothing to test here. Shoot is left click. New. I'm not, not seeing this before, but this wasn't in the version I played last, so this is interesting. Edit is E. Ah, so I want to shoot a command onto it. So I think I'm going to enable collisions, objects, hit objects. Yep, there we go. There we go. I like that. This is clever. So again, I want to let's have a oh my god. So I'm scaling things along the y-axis. So a negative numbers. Fastness so it disables my gun. Um, so it, I disabled. I, I, I set the negative scale first, then jumped on this platform um, and reset. Took the negative out and made it so it scaled upwards. I jumped on this one and let me scale upwards as well. So it moved me. So the red or box, like the pink box, I suppose, translucent red box, enables my gun. So my gun goes red. And then, so what have I got? This is scaling objects. The object is hit by the object scale. X. I want to scale.
scale this massively to get me across to that one. Maths. Add. Next time I shoot it, it scales it by 10. Crack him. missing set to that's what's going on ah. <laughs> oops right so oh dear it's all good it's all good what's that right let's dump that Okay, so okay, so, ah, there we go. Ah, so it doesn't render it. Uh, I need that. Translate the object. Object. Hit object. Vectors along the X because it's going to come towards me. Um, logic true. Numbers. There we go. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to reverse that. Some more maths and negative. Easy. 
Easy money. Okay, I can probably reset this now. Let's have a think. Oh, God, what logic. I want to hit object mal what? Transformations. Translate object. I'm going to translate it along the Y. And I want to do it by 20 each time. Oh, so I need to definitely need the true in there as well. There we go. And here we are. Magical. So, let's have a quick look. Oh, oh no. Oh. Okay, jump. 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 Okay. Run programming sorted. Let's have a look. To scale you transformation rotate okay so around the Z so if you think about these as, as axes Y will be a, a, a pin straight through the top I think let's double check this uh, objects hit object logic true Numbers 90. There we go. So if I'd done it as rotate around the Z, it would have rather rotating right around the way it did, it would have rotated forward, so to flip a big horizontal surface at me, but me lower would have made the jump. But I can show you that. I'll grab vectors around the Z. So it wouldn't have worked. Bad plan. I'm gonna need that now, aren't I? No, good. This is what I'm gonna need it on. This one, this one will flip around the the, uh, the Z. There we go. Is the end of Glitch Space so far. Escape is quit. I quite like this portal effect, it's really nice. And apparently it was done in, in Unity 3, which is odd, because normally I think it must be using a second camera or something. It's quite clever either way. Um, so yeah, it's Glitch Space. It's yeah, visual programming in a game experience. There was a similar project that was designed, was kickstarted and went a bit funny. I think it was Code Hero. Um, built in again, built in Unity, but you're writing actual JavaScript rather than visual coding um, to solve some puzzles. So it's that same sort of process of scaling things, adding collisions and stuff, and just doing scripting logic. But that sort of vanished on the face of the earth. They basically spent all their money and didn't make anything. Um, and they keep popping up and saying, oh, we're still making it, we promise, we'll do our best. And no one really believes them much anymore. To the point where they had a PR person or community manager who then recently left. It was there for like six months or six weeks or something and then vanished again. Did like three posts. It was not very good. Not particularly inspiring. Anyway, uh, so that's that wasn't this though. This is good. And is on Steam for the unholy price of I think six pounds something. Um, quickly visit the store page. Uh, do do Four ninety nine. It's not even six quid. Uh, so yeah, pretty well worth it. It's, it is early access, and you've just seen me play through the entirety of the current guild of the game. Um, so if you don't feel the urge to do that again, that's fair. But they do say they're going to be updating fairly regularly. Um, 
so they're aiming for up to an hour of main play currently. Yeah, about half hour, okay, that's not too bad. The game will feature two, three hours of main play once it's finished, with lots of replay value, including a sandbox mode. So I think if it stays at £5, it's probably worth it, especially if you've never done any programming before and you want a bit of introduction to the logic stuff, then it's it's pretty good at that. Um, yeah, it's good, I enjoyed it. So that's that for now. Hit escape to move the menu. Um, so I've got a level that like submit bug feedback. Um, resume and restart. Pfft, boring. Uh, controls. No, oh, they're just default boring things. I tap enter to respawn. So yes, that is glitch space. Um, so this is uh, Good Friday. Yes, yeah, Good Friday. Uh, <laughs> oh, madness. Um, so we're back again on Monday with something else. Uh, don't know what yet though. I will figure that one out as soon as I can. Uh, it'll probably be about a sort of quick, quick half hour jobby rather than the hour long Space Engineers epic. Though we'll go back to that soon. Now I've, I've looked up and figured out how to build things properly. I should start with the landing gear apparently. But there we go. So, good space done. Uh, Friday complete. Hooray. Excellent. Enjoy the weekend. Uh, for those of you in the UK, enjoy your long weekend. Uh, I'll be back on Monday with more stuff. Uh, I don't know what though, as I said. So continue to subscribe, like, follow, do all that sort of flaff and guffin. And I will catch you, flappy folks, later on. <laughs>